Hey everybody, welcome aboard. Now we're not doing a three hour tour. Um, a lot of people aren't old enough to know what a three hour tour is. Uh, better put my Gilligan hat on the next time, right? Um, welcome, I uh, got some more finished projects and um, thought I'd kind of show you some different colorings. Both of these things I've done before but um, got some different color colorways, and I'm, I'm gradually finding what I like best about them. And so the first thing is axolotls. And I, I have a pattern for the, the plush ones out of the blanket yarn, but for some reason, I, they just look like a pile of mush when I do them. So, um, I keep going back to my pattern that I use, uh, worsted, uh, four weight worsted. Um, and I just kind of like them a lot better. It does have quite a bit of sewing. Um, but here, here's my axolotl. Okay. Um, and I will put the information about this pattern below because I didn't bring it in here with me. And I, I can't remember off the top of my head uh, what it is. Um, but, you know, you've got a, a bunch of pieces because the head and the body are two pieces. All of these are individual pieces. Um, so you do have quite a bit of sewing. But I like this. And really, it is very quick. Um, I can do one of these in think an hour ish sometimes a little less sometimes a little more depends on how many times I have to get up and let the dogs out you know how that goes so um but I like these um this one is a new colorway that I've not done before this is um this is I love this yarn um and it's it's a speckle and I'm not sure if that's the correct name but it's got it's got the blue and the teal and the pink and the yellow and green. It's all in there. So I want to do more with this base color, but have the, the fins and the legs, arms and legs be more of the colors, um, in, uh, in the, in the body, you know, the flex out of this. So, um, I really like this one. Um, I want to do it with teal and a light green or like a lime green. So look for some more of these to pop up in different colors because I like them. Um, I did one with pink and then gray accents. Okay. Um, now these are the eyes that have, that you can put the color rings underneath. If you look, this one has, this one has purple rings. This one, I didn't have any of the rings that I liked. So I just put them on as clear and I like it because you can really, you can kind of get the color from underneath and it gives it a little bit of a shine. So I do like it even without the color ring. All right. And I did this one. This one is, the body is um, Red Heart Super Saver Retro Stripe. And I had just a ball of it left over. And so it kind of started at yellow and went down to the dark green. Because these really don't take a lot of, of yarn. Okay. Um, and then this is, I love this yarn um, in a, in a gray or a silver from Hobby Lobby. Um, so these are the three colors, um, that I did, um, and completed. I really like this one. I want to do, I want to find some more of the lighter, you know, the, the striping, um, that kind of gives it a, a different look. So another option that I want to try, um, so those are those. And then the other thing I've whipped up a few of 
fidget snakes. Um, I did these once before also um, because I have a market coming. Um, I, I only had a couple left. Um, these were big sellers. I mean, I don't charge a ton for them because honestly, I, I use scrap balls and, um, I can get a long way with scrap balls. So, um, they have, I think these are 18 millimeter, uh, beads. I can, I've gotten them at Hobby Lobby. I've gotten them at Joanne Fabrics. So they're just the common white. 18 millimeter bead and they come in a, a larger I get them in the larger package so I get more and and I always get them when they're like buy one get one or 50% off so um so you can kind of see the beads are in there this is Karen Simply Soft I don't know the name of the the variegated but it's a it's a variegated um I've had it forever and so I think it made a cool snake and I put the eyes on it. Okay. And then I used, again, this is the, uh, <laughs> retro stripe, um, from red heart. Okay. So I did the same thing. Starts up light, goes to the ends. I also had some of the pink ends left. And so I have one, in the lighter version. Um, these turned out just a tad bit bigger because this, um, this yarn is, even though it's all four weight, this is a little bit bigger. Um, I think I might've also used a 4.0 on, on one of like this one and then like a 3.75 on the others. Um, so those are my two retro striped fidget snakes. Um, I can't even tell you what this is. It's something in a ball. I've got three balls of it over on the shelf. I don't know what the name of it is, but I think it turned out really cool. I like how it kind of gave it stripes. It's got green and tan and kind of an off-white. Um, so I really like how that one turned out. And the last one, this is actually cotton um, that I had gotten to do some washcloths and some stuff with, and I had a little bit left over. So this one is really soft and I like it. So I might be changing all of my fidget snakes to, um, to not the kitchen cottons, but like the wearable cottons. Um, so this is how this one turned out. Um, so um, I'm going to put those in my stash. Um, so that's, that's what I got done in the last several days. Um, and I'm kind of plugging right along and, and uh, to get ready for um, some summer markets and, and, my, my stash of stuff is very thin, uh, my inventory, so I want to start building my inventory for the end of the year um, because I get, at the end of the year, I get markets so close together that I just, uh, it's tough to restock uh, in a week or two. So I'm trying to have an abundance before then and um, be able just to pull from that. So, but, uh, so anyway that's what's been up in my world. So, um, I'm hoping you guys have a great day. I hope that, um, you are crocheting on something fun and, um, I can't wait to get past this market because I have found some cool new patterns that I just can't wait to show you. Um, I have people, and I don't know if this happens to you guys, but I have people like on my Facebook friends and stuff, they text me and send me stuff all the time. Look what I just saw. And it's really cool because sometimes they see things that I don't. And so I have this stash of stuff, um, some patterns and websites that people have sent me that are some really cool things. So I'm hoping to get to some of that here um, soon. So have a great one. Um, if you've not subscribed, please do so. 
and um, you'll be able to hit that bell and find out when I put up new videos because um, you never know what I'm up to. So have a great day, crochet away, and I will see you later.